Welcome back to the channel. Sunday, over here with the Doberman. Uh, today I'm um, been at the shop most of the day. Keep looking at that car, man. That thing is so sick. I have the uh, a really nice 91 MR2 turbo up on the lift. The car is a K24 with a precision or no boost lab 5858 turbo boost labs a local company we work with here uh, great company they manufacture their own turbos full service center injector cleaning blah 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 so let me show you a little bit of this car it's pretty badass something about red man looks super good I like the wheels Straight pipe exhaust, speed factory intercooler. This is a K24A2. It's kind of hard to see, sorry about the glare. K24A2, 5858. Looks like an OEM gearbox. Hey, at least they use Honda Bond. The last one that was here, they used black RTD silicone. So, people who, people who don't really know, MR2s run a radiator in the front. The coolant lines go all the way up. This is a factory MR2 car. But anyway, so in order to change the fuel pump, you can see there is no access hole to do it. So you know what you gotta do? Drop the tank. <laughs> that is never fun. But whatever, no more blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you gotta take a bunch of crap off. Up in there. Yeah. So, he bought this car already, K24 swapped. But brought it to me to tune and I was like, buddy, this thing is factory fuel injectors, everything, everything. So, of course, being that we work closely with South Bay fuel injectors, we got him a set of 1,000 cc South Bay injectors, four bar map sensor, AEM intake high flow fuel pump, spark plugs, yeah buddy, K2 and fuel rail. So now we will be able to give it more than 1.4 pounds of boost so I'll check back in with you thankfully anyway what I was getting to was I didn't know if the guy who built the car in Pennsylvania had a Walbro fuel pump in it and maybe it just had stock injectors so the whole time I was taking the tank out I was like wow it really sucked if it had a Walbro fuel pump but thankfully it doesn't that's a factory Toyota pump so Checking in with you. We'll be back doing the install on the injectors. It's about five o'clock, so Sunday. So we'll see what happens, how far I get, okay? Check back in with you when there's rods on the floor. The tank is very weird. This thing, tranny jack, finally worth it. <laughs> yeah, so this tank slides up in there. But you gotta put the electrical connections pump up in there and she gets up in that little window check that out eh, first time doing one of these but I have a feeling it won't be the last so yeah get her done going back in final stages got the Fuel rails, injectors in. There we go. We're gonna throw our favorite turbo plugs in there. NGK2668. Not too cold, not too hot. Oh no, these are six sevens. Oh well. Oh well, under under 600 horsepower, it'll be fine. Yeah. Man, it is what it is. 
It's all right. We got, it's not like we don't have plugs on plugs on plugs. You know what I'm saying? We got eights, we got nines. All right, all right. So we're going to drop those in. Then we're going to go get some E85. And then we'll check back with you when there's rods on the floor. Carlos in the building. Mr. Del Sol. <laughs> He's got the, the red lights on. He's in the red light district. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Here we go. Joey's motor on the stand. 2027 coming at you. 2035. See the guy kicks that bumper. Oh, no. Hey, it's still, the bumper's still on. Okay, coming at you. Final stages. We're the first ones back in the day to start running ethanol in Florida. And it used to be like a dollar and 40 cents, dollar 60. Now it's two dollars and 27 cents in Florida. Thanks, Joe Biden. Wait, have a good job. Does anyone want to add gas? <laughs> Does anyone want to add gas? Two people. Two volunteers. I'll put the screwdriver in there. No, uh, we do got the black. I'll hold this. We got the black funnel. Yeah, it's heavy. So apparently if you fill them things up all the way, they can take 5.92 gallons. So we're gonna, this is an empty tank. We're gonna throw ethanol in it. I'm gonna throw a map in here. Oh, I got to connect the power in the level center. All right, all right. All right, bye. Because I, ha I didn't want to damage that. I had to move the, uh, the tubes. And there's a, a bracket. So, yeah, on the MR2, you got to uh, gotta take all that out and spin the asper back together. Um, so, yeah, she's ready to fire. We're gonna change the map sensor out. We got the plugs in, good to go. That's it, ready to go. All right, guys, back in the mix. Letting the good old 6.0 warm up. We got the MR2 loaded up, fired it up on the map sensor, sounds great. New injectors, E85, new fuel pump. So we're gonna hit the dyno tomorrow and dial it in and customer's gonna meet us there and pick it up. It's gonna be a really cool experience for them. So that's what's cool. They drop it off, you know, not even able to hit VTEC and then convert it to ethanol with the right stuff and a good map. And it's gonna probably make right under five. I'm calling it right now, so. Probably 460, 480, I'll feel comfortable. But uh, yeah, we'll check in with you guys. Out of here, this is what it takes. What is it, 1 a.m.? 1.45 a.m., this is what it takes. Put in the hours, reap the benefits later on. All right, good night.
made a couple good passes to get the fuel ironed out. It looks like we're looking good now. Fuel is good. Dyno or no dyno? Add power. Add power. Add power. Add power. All right, here we go. He's got the true boost setup, which is kind of antiquated, older setup, but uh, that's our starting point right there. So, ready. Nothing. 